the problem with the bone fishing is I I learned over the years you have to be relaxed. If you relax, everything will just come together. I always say if you miss a fish, you forget about it. You you don't even keep it on your mind. You just totally erase it and you move on to the next fish. The great thing about, about bone fishing on Lake Zuma is it's the layout of the land. If you have bad weather, there are still areas around here you could you could get into and you can still fish and have a good trip. No matter what. No matter what. Early in the morning, you have to wake any area with the light. You must have that light at the beginning of the day to actually see through the water. Mm -hmm. yes, if you cannot see, you're gonna catch him. But as the sun comes up, you're not working with the sunlight anymore. You want to sort of, I, I sort of wake up with the clouds and the wind. Yeah. More or less. Get it now. Gonna, anytime I go to the area, I know the tide is right for that area, so I know we're gonna catch a fish. You have this ability to find a rhythm between the tides, the clouds, what the fish are doing, and to get us in the right spot. See, the thing is, we have to work as a team. If you do your part, I will definitely do mine, and it, it'll be simple. <laughs> and I just love the fact that we're out there, and it's just a singular moment where we're both chasing this one fish, yeah. and that's oh, yeah. just what I love. It's it's the best. <laughs> The Bahamas to me is really coming back home to the out islands and to me this is where it's at. This is a really special place. We used to come down here 10 years ago with my whole family and to come back and, and fish and really learn the, the place is fantastic.